All right, what is going on YouTube? We in here for another one and damn it. I really wanted to make a Battlefield 2042 video today on the new map, the new season that just dropped. I haven't had a lot of time on it just yet, but I really wanted to try to get a video on that game today. And I know I'm mostly a Call of Duty channel and the official Call of Duty account, Activision, Charlie Intel, they're all out here just exploding all this information, just blowing their load all over the place about season four from Modern Warfare Deuce and Warzone 2, Black Ops Cold War, all of it. And I think it's my duty to cover that first before we get into a Battlefield 2042 video, man. That's, <laughs> that kind of sucks, too. I really wanted to make the Battlefield 2042 video today, man. Shit! So I'm not currently recording over any gameplay, and I'm low on Call of Duty gameplay. I don't know what I'm going to plug in here. I might put some of that Battlefield in here, but again, I haven't had a lot of time on a game, so I haven't had a chance to have a game where I went off just yet. It's been a lot of tight games. There's a lot of sweats. There's a lot of tryhards on, man. We've been having some okay games. Just no games where I'm absolutely going off like I used to upload all the time on my second channel. And it doesn't really matter anyways, man. When you rant about COD and you upload COD, people will complain and, and hate on you because, you know, you're ranting about the game, but you're still playing it. And if you upload something other than COD while ranting about COD, because you still care about COD regardless of how shit COD has been, people will hate on you for not uploading the game that you're ranting about, man. So he's like, you can't fucking win out here, bro. It's crazy out here on these streets. But anyways, so I guess we should get the roadmap for season four out of the way real quick and let you guys know what I think of it. It'll never be not funny to me that they advertise bundles on their fucking roadmaps, man. As you guys can see right there, they got the two bundles in the bottom right corner. Like, come the fuck on, man. Bundles, it's what's helping ruin this game and franchise. And they're out here advertising this shit on a motherfucking roadmap, dude. Oh my, you can't make this shit up. But I will say this, it, you know what? It's an acceptable amount of content for a season. You notice the war zone is front and center, of course, right? Warzone, I mean, when you read something, you read left or right, they always make sure that your eyes go straight to Warzone right away. Warzone's getting a new map. You got new modes in there and all that shit. You got a limited time mode. You got all this shit for Warzone, right? And it, lo it looks good, man. I don't play Warzone. So if you're looking for me to talk on Warzone, man, this ain't the channel for you. You know, we barely play COD at this point, and we're just a multiplayer channel on this side. But it's looking pretty good for Warzone, man. For all you guys to still watch me to play Warzone, it looks like you have some decent content to look forward to. On the multiplayer side of it, we got a couple of weapons. We have six maps, two of each, two gunfight maps, two battle maps, and two 6v6 maps. And I've been saying this for a long time now. I feel like, like this is, they should have dropped this in season one. But I still think that two maps for an entire season, two 6v6 maps is not enough, man. It has to be minimum three. And I'm I'm being generous with that. I'm not saying like that's what the, their goal should be three maps a season. I'm just minimum. It should be three 6v6 maps per season. Considering how long a season lasts, you should have two maps drop at the launch of a season and minimum one map mid season. But it looks like we got an original map there. I have no idea what that district map is. And they're bringing back Showdown from COD 4. Now, Showdown wasn't a map that I absolutely loved in COD 4. And it definitely played a lot better back then than it does now. If you want to know what this map is going to play like in Modern Warfare Dues, go try to find a lobby on it in Modern Warfare Remastered, right? Go play that. See how campy it is. And now try to imagine louder footsteps no working minimap, heavy, thick as hell skill-based matchmaking, broken as hell, inconsistent gunfights. There is your showdown experience for Modern Warfare Deuce, man. Go play Modern Warfare Remastered and just try to add all the bullshit that we got to deal with in Modern Warfare Deuce to that. And there you go, man. That's going to be your showdown experience. It wasn't a great map in COD 4. It wasn't a terrible map either. People played COD differently back then, though. I think a map like that, kind of like Favela, right? Favela, back in the day, we loved that map. It would not work in today's Call of Duty. With the community that we have now, the player base that we have now, Favela, in my opinion, would not work. And Showdown, same deal, at least in my opinion anyways. But I mean, it's pretty cool. We didn't get an SMG or assault rifle last season. We're getting one of each now. They got the black cell in there for all you crack addicts that bought that joint last season. <laughs> they got the black, the black bitch. They got that on the roadmap as well. And we're getting 12v12 game modes, man. We got Prisoner Rescue. 
Search and Destroy 12v12. They could be fun. I just, I don't see how Showdown 6v6 could work in this game. With the type of community that we have, the way people play Call of Duty nowadays, but just the amount of advantages that campers have in these new Infinity Ward games. Uh, just a, a map like Showdown is just, there's so many other maps that they could have chose from and they go with Showdown. I, <laughs> where are all the OG Modern Warfare 2 maps, man? There's so many better maps that could fit the game way better than Showdown that they could have used. And I, they just, I do try to understand their logic for Call of Duty these days is just, it, it could drive you insane, man. There's just, there's, there's no logic there to be had. But considering there's a whole new Warzone map there, I'm not gonna call them lazy this season. I still think that we needed a few more 6v6 maps, especially with how lacking for content this game is. We still needed a few more 6v6 maps, in my opinion. I'm not gonna call them lazy. There's a decent amount of content here, man. I ain't gonna hate. Like, I'll give credit where it's due. The season doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. But I wanna get into this. Call of Duty and Activision have officially acknowledged the situation going on in Black Ops Cold War. Here is a tweet from one of the official Call of Duty accounts, we're aware of recent reports regarding exploits on Black Ops Cold War that impact a small population of players across all platforms. Investigations with partners began last week and are ongoing. I find it so funny that even when they finally acknowledge a situation that they should have been acknowledging last week, they still got, they got to make it as small as possible, right? They got to just like, brush it off you know what i mean it, it ain't that big of a deal <laughs> that's just that's the activision way i love that part right there that impact a small population of players across all platforms so i know a lot of people along with myself that elected not to play black ops cold war that elected not to play a lot of different call of duties i haven't played call of duty period any of them in over a week at this point, I don't want to touch the game because of the security risk that you're taking just to play Call of Duty. Because people are talking about this more than just Cold War, man. Modern Warfare Deuce, Modern Warfare 2019. Apparently, it's a problem across a lot of different games in this franchise right now. So I just chose not to play the franchise altogether. And as you guys know, with Cold War and Black Ops 4, that was pretty much all I've been uploading lately up until that point i just i needed to get gameplay and then all this shit went i was starting to run low on gameplay and all this shit went down with the whole security risk trying to play the games and and all this nonsense so they take a shot at the people bringing awareness to this problem uh, impact a small population of players across all platforms or they're taking a shot at themselves they're exposing themselves because there's only a small population left on all platforms on black ops cold war or whatever and here is the official tweet at 4.07 a.m. from Lurgware. I have no idea who these people are, but apparently they have been responsible for the bullshit going on in Cold War. And they go on to say, Dear customers, Lurgware staff have received a cease and desist from Activision Blizzard and will be shutting down our operation in order to comply. Thanks to all of our customers for being so great. Thanks to all of our... Yo, you, you always notice like a pattern here, right? With these cheating companies and all these fucking scumbags out here, man. Like they actually think what they do matters. I just seen a fucking post from one of the homie subscribers earlier on Twitter. One of these cheating companies that was served with a cease and desist as well from Activision just recently, a couple of days ago, they come out and they address their little community and they start off their apology with... It's with a heavy heart. We have to let you know that we're shutting this down. Dude, when I seen that shit, that was hilarious. It's with a heavy heart. Like, you're not talking about somebody who just passed away or some shit, man. You're talking about your bullshit cheats getting shut the fuck down that you shouldn't have been using in the first place. This is a product that shouldn't have been supplied in the first place. Y'all were fucking out here ruining Black Ops Cold War on people who paid full price and then some for the game legitimate customers i don't give a fuck about your feelings anybody who purchases product or whatever i don't care about you i'm happy this shit's going down and i'm sure you're probably wondering is cold war safe to play now i would say that you're in a better spot to play it right now but for me personally i don't think i'm gonna play it just yet man i don't know if there's enough here you might still be at risk to play cold war i can't tell you in good conscience to go play the game 
and this shit is still going on. Somebody else is doing it. Somebody's using the same program or whatever. They duplicated it or I don't know how the fuck this shit works, man. But I can't in good conscience tell you to go play the game that it tell you that it's safe to play. And this potentially is still going on with the game. We have to wait and see. It's just for me personally, for me, I just I'm not going to play the game just yet. I'm going to wait until we know for sure that Cold War is safe to play. But I am happy that Activision has finally acknowledged this. It took them way too long to do that, but I'm happy that they finally acknowledged the situation and they're doing something about it. Saves me an all out rage commentary, man. I was, I was actually looking forward to it though, but I wasn't looking forward to sounding like a fucking lunatic to some people around me, man, but it was coming. It was coming, that commentary was on its way but now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Activision is out here trying to handle it. We'll see what happens. That is all I have on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm out.